Hey guys, I'm back again and thank you for tuning into my channel. Once again, we come back here every five weeks after I finish a rotation and I fill you all in on where I was at, um, what rotation it was uh, overall, how was it the experience, what did I see, what are my clinical pearls, what type of um, extra or outside resources I used that helped me and preparing for my end of rotation exam. So let's jump right into it. This is emergency medicine. This time I was in emergency medicine and I was in the in the city so it was maybe about 10 minutes away from my house which was awesome I did not have to drive anywhere I did not have to worry about traffic too much um, I was at Carolina's Hospital and I really 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 enjoyed my rotation my preceptor was wonderful laid back I learned a lot from her and her colleagues and my future colleagues the doctors and other mid-levels as well um, how was the overall atmosphere? Well, it was busy, fast-paced as you would imagine. Um, for the, some days, we would be very slow and have very few patients. Um, I was on the triage side where we saw everybody that came through, got their vitals, you know, basically got a brief history of what brought them in today and decided whether we wanted to keep them in express care or push them to the back where the doctors were for more um, more follow-up and more investigation into whatever problems they might have been having at the time so for me it was a good eye-opener um, my first day I saw about 60 patients and then I learned to only um, document the ones that we followed all the way through which was great once I figured out that that's what I needed to do <clears throat> excuse me but anyway um, let's see it was very fast paced but it wasn't what I thought it was going to be which I don't know why I thought it was going to be like Grey's Anatomy crazy because to get into PA school all I did was shadow in the ER so I knew what it was going to be like I just didn't want to believe it I was in denial um, it was basically like family medicine on steroids I, for whatever reason here people come to the ER when they stub their toe um, when they're cutting vegetables and make a little, little laceration with a, a butcher knife. You know, it was the most craziest things and I'm just, the whole rotation I was telling my preceptor, we should really do an intervention and make a, a commercial to tell people, this is an emergency, this is for your primary care provider and if you don't have one, here's a list of people you can contact for a primary care provider even if you don't have insurance like it was just absurd some of the things that we saw but some of the top three things I saw the most was abscesses drug seekers and pain seekers pain drug seekers pain um, a lot of car accidents and I guess if I want to add a fourth one a lot of heart murmurs um, a fifth one a lot of pregnancy and a vaginal discharge and bleeding and then a sixth one psychiatry patients that's the top the top but the number one was like abscesses I got so used to stabbing people with a scalpel cutting and squeezing and packing that I can do it in my sleep now um, <clears throat> not exactly something I want to pick up but it's a nice skill to have Another one was a very bad car accident where we actually had to page surgery but the man actually ended up surviving so that was great so moving right along to what I used I also used your design um, they had these little um, I guess you can call replicas of the skin my brain isn't working right now but I used these to practice suturing and they were wonderful okay now moving into my pearls that I learned moving right along okay so this rotation okay so I learned that fluoroquinolones or Bactrim can penetrate the prostate 
a CT of the abdomen to see blood. Um, it's not a DVT, pain, heat equals cellulitis until proven otherwise. Um, ketamine kids to reset bones. Must be a pain medicine. Claritin and Zyrtec comes in liquid suspension for children. You do a CT in a pelvis with and without contrast for kidney stones and for if you're worried about appendicitis. Um, lidocaine, toxicity, uh, look up weight when you're doing a patient. Um, they have dosing for that. Triamcinolone 1% cream um, is the go-to for rash if you're looking for a steroid cream. Um, Voltaren pill you can use that for a uh, bad reflux. If you consulted a doctor, make sure you write down their name and the time within your document and notes. Adult otitis media, recent trauma, or um, it could mean scuba diving. Dermabond, um, you don't use on the joints or the eyebrows. Epidural shock can cause epidural abscess, so watch out for that. If an infant presents eight weeks or less, do septic workup with the LP, lumbar puncture. No creams or lotions on top of Dermabond. It will remove the glue. Renal disease throws the Chem 8 off. Um, TCO2 is actually bicarb. Any spotting or bleeding, um, the doctor needs to look and make sure that the cervix is closed um, when you have a pregnant woman and she comes in with splotting or bleeding. Um, end stage renal can decrease. Wait. Oh, end stage renal disease can cause positive troponins. And CMP and BMP uh, will equal heart renal overload. Okay, just scratch that because I don't know what. Sometimes I write things. And I can't go back and read them. I don't know what I wrote. Always look at old labs if they are available, especially when you're comparing EKGs and certain stuff to see what's baseline for the patient. Um, and Automidate was a new medication that you that I learned about, and they use it to sedate and paralyze people. That was one of the drugs we used with our MVA that came in. That we ended up using on the MVA that had came in. But once again, thank you guys for tuning into my channel and meeting me here every five weeks for another end of a rotation review. Um, next, I will be an internal medicine outpatient. I'll see you guys again in five more weeks. Any questions or concerns or anything you want me to do a video on, just leave it down in the comments below. Thank you again, and y'all have a great next month.